dearly beloved in Christ, on this second Sunday of Easter, which is also known as the Divine Mercy Sunday, we are reminded and reassured of God's boundless mercy, born out of His love for us, which is manifested in the salvific nature of the Easter experience. Today's Gospel from John chapter 20, verse 19 to verse 31, speaks to us about faith as very important in our relationship with God. This gospel teaches us that faith in Jesus' resurrection has the power to transform our lives and the lives of those around us. One unique element of today's gospel is that it is proclaimed on the second Sunday of Easter in all three liturgical cycles. In their Good Friday experience, the disciples appear to have lost all hope following the death of Jesus which left them devastated. Because Jesus did not enjoy a smooth and cordial relationship with the Jewish authorities, his disciples were afraid of what their fate would eventually be, and as a result, they locked themselves up in a room. Although the news of the resurrection brought them a ray of hope, they remained in their hideout. It is in this hideout that Jesus visited them in today's Gospel. This Gospel tells us about Jesus' two appearances to his disciples. It happened while they gathered for prayer. One of them, Thomas, was not there. Suddenly Jesus appeared to them, greeting them with the gift of peace. It is possible some of them had doubt in their hearts because Jesus appeared to have tried to convince them by showing them the nail marks in his hands and side in order to prove to them that he, the crucified, was the same as the resurrected. With this encounter with the risen Lord, their doubt cleared and their faith was strengthened. It is important to know that since his resurrection, Jesus had made a few appearances to his disciples in order to fill the gap created by the events of his passion. So with his appearance today, Jesus bestowed his great gift of peace, which only him can give, the peace which the world cannot give. The peace which St. Augustine says he could not find in vain things until he encountered Jesus. The feelings associated with this kind of peace is so practical and its effect is so real that it emits joy from within that one cannot but glorify God. He not only gives them greetings of peace, he also infused in them the breath of the Holy Spirit, giving them authority to forgive sins. Thomas missed this encounter because he was absent when Jesus appeared to the rest of his disciples while they gathered in prayer. Thomas doubted when others told him about the Lord's appearance and he refused to be convinced. He rather insisted that unless he saw the nail marks in his hands and sighed and put his finger in them, he would not believe. However, Thomas was present when Jesus appeared the second time. He challenged Jesus to prove to him that he, the resurrected, was the same as the crucified. Although Jesus rebuked him for doubting, he proved that to him, but not without admonishing him to stop doubting, but be a believer. Upon his conviction, Thomas acknowledged Jesus' divinity, saying, my Lord and my God. In his dialogue with Thomas, Jesus said to him, Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Brothers and sisters, as present-day disciples, we are invited to believe and to embrace Jesus' ministry as revealed to us in the scriptures through the testimony of those who had first-hand experience of Jesus, his ministry, death, and resurrection. And like these early disciples, we too can strengthen our faith by daily living it. Today's Gospel encourages us to remain Jesus' faithful followers 
and active members of his mystical body. With the community of Christ spread for all over the world, we gather today as one family to worship God and to be reassured of his abundant divine mercy, as well as to receive the great gift of peace which only Jesus Christ can give. Thanks for reflecting on the world with me. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.